Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Moose and welcome to my January 2022 ban list prediction video. Now I waited until 2022 to actually make this video, so happy 2022 and well, happy ban list month because the new ban list is dropping no earlier than January 17th, 2022. So let's get into it, right? Now I haven't been following the meta as well as I'd like in the last few months, but I do have a general understanding of what's going on. So these are my thoughts on what I think could get hit and should get hit. Starting with the banned cards, right? Number one, I think Imperial Order needs to go. It's had its time in the sun long enough. Errated Imperial Order, not enough. Just get the damn thing out of here. Gone. Finished. Done. Right? Never come back, please. Then I think Artifact Scythe or Artifact Dagda needs to be banned. Preferably Artifact Scythe because it's just an extra deck lock. We really don't need those, especially not searchable ones. So I would prefer for that to go. They may hit Dagda or neither of them, but I would prefer for them to hit Artifact Scythe. Next we've got Arch Nemesis Protoss because it's just such a powerful card in Sword Soul. I think it can do so much damage. And I think, honestly, that card... Eh, I mean, I have a copy myself, but I'm not playing Sword Soul, so I don't really care if it's banned. But I think it would do some good to just neuter Sword Soul a little bit. I know it's a newer deck, so they might not do that, but it would be nice. And the last one I have to get banned is not Verte. Just don't ban Verte. Like, please, don't ban Verte. I know slating down DPE or Dragoon or whatever is not great, but please, just don't ban Verte. Konami, that's all I'm asking. Leave the snake alone. It's done nothing wrong. The other monsters are the problem. Leave the snake alone. It did absolutely nothing wrong. And my fusion decks like Shadol and Evoked and all of those really need you to not hit Verte. So thank you. Anyway, moving on past my bias to the limited section. Number one, you may have been surprised that I didn't mention Mystic Mine as a bannable card in the same vein as Imperial Order. I don't think it's exactly the same because honestly, Mystic Mine is a little bit less oppressive than Imperial Order. I know it's not a high bar, but still. I would think that they'd hit Mystic Mine to one first before they actually ban it. If they are gonna hit Mystic Mine, I think this list will get hit to one. Now there are outs to Mystic Mine, but being able to play 3, 4, just like, and 4 if you've got terraforming just kind of sucks. So being able to take care of your opponent's Mystic Mine and then not being able to drop another on you I think is important. So I think Mystic Mine might actually go to 1 as a more reasonable alternative than just straight up banning it. Then once we're done with that, let's get to how we can hit the meta decks. So in terms of Tri Brigade, it already took a big hit in Tanky last time, so I think Trying to get Fractal getting limited is not outside the realm of possibility because that card is just a one card starter for the entire Tri-Brigade combo. Running at a 3 is pretty much amazing and as a Tri-Brigade player I really don't want it to get hit, but I think it will, so I think hitting Fractal sort of makes the same, makes the most sense. Honestly, hitting Shurek so that I can't do multiple Revolt Shurek that plays also might work, but I think for getting the combo less consistent, Fractal to 1 makes sense to me. Then in terms of making combos, you know, just less searchable and less consistent, Sword Soul Emergence, I know Sword Soul just got released, but Sword Soul Emergence I feel like is a worm specific and Sword Soul specific searcher card that has no business being at 3. Being able to search Sword Soul monsters, or if you control one, searching any worm monster from your deck, that is ridiculously powerful. And I think Sword Soul does need to be taken down a notch, so I think hitting Sword Soul Emergence to 1 might be the right move. Then, in terms of Fluanderies, I don't really know that much about the deck, so I'm not sure, but I think maybe hitting the Barrier Statue of the Stormwinds to 1 or banning it straight up might help, just in terms of making sure that you can't, you know, establish a Special Summon lock in a deck that only does normal summons anyway, so couldn't really care less about Special Summoning. So it's even more one-sidedly bad. So I think hitting Storm Winds would be kind of a good move. Then in terms of unbanning, I think Astrograph Sorcerer are coming to one could be really cool. We've got the new Beyond the Pendulum card coming soon. It would be kind of interesting to see a format where that's legal and Astrograph is legal. But with Beyond the Pendulum coming back now, I think it's time I finally make my peace with the fact that Electromite is not coming back and I'm just really sad about that. I'm not happy about it, but it is what it is. We'll make do with Beyond the Pendulum, but yeah, that's about it. In terms of semi-limiting cards, I only really have one on my list, and that is Red Reboot, and that might be a weird card, but honestly, I think having a Red Reboot come back would be really nice with all the ridiculously strong trap cards we've got floating around. Maybe they won't put it to three straight away, but I think putting it back to two could be nice, because 
Red Reboot also allows your opponent to set a card from their deck straight away, so if you're using it recklessly, you're kind of screwing yourself. I think having two might be nicer. Having one is just a little bit too sacky, so if they're not going to bring it back to three straight away, I think two is sort of reasonable, with a view of taking it to three, because I'd really like to have this thing back. Finally, onto the unlimits, right? Number one, Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Does this card really need to be at one? No one's running at more than one anyway. And it got the errata. Just bring it off the ban list already, please. Thank you. Done. Second one is Emergency Teleport for, you know, we've got the new Psychic Monster that's coming out. We've got Virtual World that can use Emergency Teleport, but if they brought it to two, I think Konami's going to take it to three anyway, so that's that. And then lastly, we've got Skullcrabber Joker. Got taken to two as well, I think, with a view to taking it to three. Would be nice to get some Pendulum cards back before the Beyond the Pendulum card drops, so we can just play around with that as Pendulum players. Honestly, I'm excited for the support Pendulum is getting. I'm really waiting for that, and I've been waiting for it, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited. But let me know what you think of my bandless predictions. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Do you think that totally different cards should get banned? Let me know down in the comment below. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Sorry for the break, guys. It was a little bit of a rough time, but I am back. So see you all next time, and make sure to subscribe. Bye.